There's over 100,000 listings on eBay right now. And then I have the art website that I have about 20,000 pieces of original art. This is what I look like after a long day's work. This is from 61. I'm Anthony Snyder and I'm a super fan of comic books, original art, and the whole pop culture that is superhero dumb. The mothership of my business is original artwork. This is an original piece of art that I've had since the 90s. It's got the whole Marvel Universe. This is one of those pieces where somebody's gonna have to pry this out of my hand. When I was a kid, I loved comic books. I had an entire Silver Age collection of Marvel and DC. Spidey 1-Up, Avengers 1-Up, everything. I am nostalgic about this, and I do have the love of this stuff, you know, and I will say, oh, that's cool. Vegas was a really strange town to grow up in. My dad was a, a big deal in Vegas. My dad was Jimmy the Greek. He'd walk through a casino and the people would just part. He saw that I was interested in comic books and taking care of them. He helped me with that. He was hired by CBS to be on the NFL Today show, and I would go to shows with him in New York. I mean, I'd be in New York City as a 12-year-old, 13-year-old, and I'd go out looking for comic books. I'd wander down Times Square where I'd get knives pulled on me and chased out. I mean, it was not a family-oriented place to be back then. But somehow, you know, my drive to go find comic books would uh, supersede my instinct for survival. So this is my art room. This is where I sell the original art to comic books. This is how I establish myself in the business. I am an original art dealer. So this is like a classic painted cover from Twilight Zone, the comic book. All the bins are different characters. We have Avengers, Marvel, DC, Batman, Superman. These are all Spider-Man books. There's Spider-Girl, there's Spider-This, there's Spider-That. There's a lot of different kind of spiders in here. This material has become the source material for such big business and big movies. Those storylines that were created in the 70s that established these characters for these comic books is where those movies came from. Well, a lot of people ask me, you know, how did you get all this stuff? And, and first of all, it was by collecting and being a super fan. Hand me an amigo right there, Sharon. You can come in. So this is Sharon, my wife. She's my super fan of the way I've built the business and supported the family ever since. Sharon, are you also a super fan of comics? I am a super fan of more the comic art. One of the best things about this business is I'm able to, you know, include my family in it and they can participate. I had to build this business to support the family and, and provide jobs. You know, I, I try to work selflessly in that respect.